Take a look at just one of Joe Biden's multiple posts related to Trans Visibility Day on Easter. He said, today on Transgender Day of Visibility, I have a simple message to all trans Americans. I see you. You're made in the image of God, and you're worthy of respect and dignity. Yeah, I hate to break it to you, Joe, but being created in God's image means you're either a man or you're a woman. And I'm sorry, but no amount of hormones or surgery is ever going to change that. Transgenderism at its core is the rejection of God's perfect design. But then again, when you reject Christ, it makes sense that one would align with Satan and mutilating innocent children. Just despicable. Joining us now to discuss this and so much more, MRC TV Culture Video host, Taryn Rose Mandelberg. Taryn Rose, thanks so much for being back with us. It's great to see you. Thanks. Great to see you too, Allison. Thank you. Well, you know, sadly, I can't say I'm too surprised to see the continued normalization of depravity and on Resurrection Sunday, no less. But uh, my question is, who exactly is Creepy Joe pandering to? I mean, the vast majority of Americans are Christian. I think it's roughly 64 percent. And, and these transgenders probably make up less than one percent of the entire population. What exactly is the goal here? Honestly, I think the goal here is just what Joe Biden typically has as his goal, to virtue signal. And there really is no goal, necessarily. You know, Joe Biden considers himself a devout Catholic, but then, like you were saying a second ago, transgenderism is the complete opposite of religion, of accepting what how God designed you. It's the complete opposite of being, uh, you know, representing the image that God designed for you, um, like you said. God created you as a man or a woman, and nothing you do can ever change that. And Joe Biden is simply trying to say, oh, we're here with you. We're, we're weak with you. This is a weak ideology that they're trying to pander to. Because if you noticed, all of the, the conservatives or the Christians or anybody religious saw these posts from Joe Biden. And I think Joe Biden wanted us to say, you're right. We will deny Easter. We will deny our Savior the fact that Jesus died on the cross and rose again for our sins. We'll deny all of that to pander to these lefty loonies, these transgender people, so they have yet another one of their little holidays that they made up. <laughs> yeah. um, I think that was his goal for us to kind of pander to them, but but that's not going to happen. Us, us Christians, we are we are firm in what we believe, and um, all this did was make me want to pray for these people more because it just showed how loony not only our administration is, but these people are. Yeah, amen. It's abundantly clear they all desperately need Jesus. It all just seems like it's sort of a giant psyop to try and convince you that trans people were invisible rather than just non-existent even a few years ago. I mean, this is a, an entirely new fad that's just become popularized in recent years, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely become popularized because they're not only trying to just approve of it and say that this is something that is accepted, but they're trying to celebrate it and encourage it. They're pushing yeah. it in schools, they're pushing it in media, they're pushing it now in our administration as official press statements being released about Transgender Day of Visibility. But then, you know, I noticed one thing, that, that statement that President Joe Biden released on his website, the White House website, was... Um, almost 650 words and then the Easter statement was less than a hundred yeah so it really shows where their priorities lie <laughs> it sure does it's a perfect perfectly illustrated example of where exactly the priorities lie uh, but speaking of people that need to repent Taryn Rose I think everyone involved in this next disturbing experiment needs Jesus desperately uh, apparently researchers at Duke University used experimental mm. hormone drugs to help a transgender mother of five breastfeed her grandchild. This is just crazy to think about the fact that this baby had to breastfeed his or her grandpa is insane. Yes. Could you imagine being, uh, you know, being raised and then saying, oh, yeah, well, you were bre breastfed by your granddad. What? That's crazy. And, and, and what's the point of all of this? It's all just to affirm a delusion. Yeah. Clearly, the child was not the, it wasn't, this was not to benefit the child. Whatever substance came out of that man's breasts was not regular lactating milk no. like uh, the baby's mother might produce. Uh, but this was, this had nothing to do with the child in the sense of helping the child grow or given nutrients. No, this was all to help this transgender woman, this biological 50 year old man, affirm his delusion. Tier and Rose, we are almost out of time, but for some much needed good news on this very sad Monday, uh, so-called pop star Lizzo apparently is quitting music following Biden's fundraising event that she performed at in New York City. You know, Tier and Rose, uh, she could just lose some weight and try to stop convincing the world that being 700 pounds is healthy and beautiful, uh, but I suppose that would probably be too much work, right? <laughs> 
Yeah, that might be a little too much work, but honestly, I hope that this is not the boy who cried wolf kind of situation where she does this thing and she virtue signals and she says, I'm leaving and I need all this attention and just goes on this dramatic facade. But I really hope that she does leave for good for now. I mean, she's got numerous sexual um, abuse allegations up against her and what she's known for now is shaking her bare booty in a thong online. And I personally would quit too if that's what I was known for.